Hello, I'm back. Uh, you probably, hopefully, saw the uh, one post I put to Instagram. Okay, hang on. And I, I did do some shopping. I went to Steinmart, Michaels. I went. I checked Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have anything. Oh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I didn't find anything. I found some stuff at Steinmart I wanted, but I really didn't want to buy more throws. And I apologize for the camera in the last video. When I was sitting there, and you could, I didn't. You know, the thing is, I still was trying to figure out which way you best. This is the best way to see me. Uh, when I had it, so I, you could see me trying the beard. That was the best angle. The beginning and the end of the video, I apologize. Shit. I should just put the camera that way and say it. This I bought at Starmart. It's by Adam Nickel. Designer exclusively. Designed exclusively by Lucky Brand. And it says Water Viper Tokyo Bathhouse. Come in and lather up. And I, being as I like skulls, and also how not well, how's moving castle? But not that's not the one I meant. I'm having brain farts this week because bear with me. I've been stressing like crazy. Spirited away, yes. Bathhouses. Oh, here we go. I got this. Well, Michael's. I got this cute little box, little mini coffin. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And I've got these. Martha Stewart's getting in the swing of things too. Yes, I know she's a bad. She can be a bad person, but her Halloween stuff is actually not that bad. I'm going to hang one of these on the makeup bag. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these. I'm thinking they might go in the makeup bag. I wanted something more. I wanted. To, I went to Michael's. I was hoping for, you know, that necklace I did with the skull and the bat wings. I wanted some stuff like that, but they're lacking on that right now. This is the bag, and I'll show you the inside when I'm finished. But it's got a nice big silky inside that I got at Walmart, and also we got more stickers from Martha Stewart. This one, it says, Enchanting Elixir. Yeah, the autofocus is going, the light's going in and out. That's going to go on my bar. I'm, like I said, I'm doing sort of a mad scientist kind of thing over there as well. And, I'm, ooh, and I'm going to put some stickers on the other ones. I've got red, purple, and blue. I've got one that's trying to make it look like blood, but it's not red enough. This one is that barbecue sauce bottle that I had. They look like a whiskey flask. I put on this is spider venom. And after I did that, I found in another pack, I found that. I'm like, really? I could have put that on there. Ah, but it gives me the inspiration. Let me plug in my phone, I guess, to get another bottle of that barbecue sauce. We've got Beware of Spiders, Spider Venom, Serpent's Venom. Smaller one than this on this little jar I'm using going to use as a drinking glass. And let's see. Well, let's see if we'll do this. Forget it. If I make it quickly. Uh, we got the icon saying, yes, I know it's low. Okay. Death before decaf. Yes. Oh, and for the coffee can that I got from Amora. Don't you love your dad puns? Coffin oil. <laughs> Why not? And we've got plug this in. It's getting low. Toxic crow claws. Fly wings. And there's also smaller versions of some of the same. Raven feathers. Creeping vines. And then the bigger ones again were enchant Enchanting Elixir, 
It's a bigger one. Danger. And then we've got another one that says Serpent's Venom again. Toxic. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put those on various different canisters around my kitchen. And along with these guys, I still have these. Those are going to go on beer mugs. So those are going to go on beer mugs. And some of the other ones will go on beer mugs as well. And also Josh. Oh, I'm thinking about it. I put one those coffee jars I got from I got instant coffee this one to be very careful toxic tonic making sun tea what else did we get we got an hourglass with black sand lovely huh and then we got for the cat, because he can't be without roses, some more black roses. I think, oh, I should have that. I think that's it for this time. I'm pretty sure that's it. If I find something else I forgot, I will let you know. I was, I didn't show you my supper. That's not really probably interested in that anyway. I, so I got three pounds of tofu. And I've got one pound marinating in bulgogi sauce. Bulgogi marinade is a... Let me see. So I don't misquote myself and sound like a total moron. Where is the jar? Can't find it now. Of course. Oh, here it is. Korean inspired bulgogi marinade. Okay. Private selections. That's from Smith's. So... It looks, it, it tastes really good. I was pretty full after lunch and first break today, so I, I ate a small dinner, which is good. I ate enough calories between first break, breakfast, and lunch for a whole day, so I really ate just because. And um, just also, the beer for today was wider. Whiter's Cider. <laughs> Bagley Rhymes. Pineapple. Prickly Pineapple. So that's pretty much it. That's my haul. There's the, the bag. And like I said, when I get some decent findings to put on it, I'm going to try and warm up the hot glue gun before I start the video. And then um, do like some people do. Like, I, like the last time when I painted the chair with the pumpkins on it. I did that while I was talking to you and I got some of it done, but then the rest I did off camera. I'm hoping that if I can, once I get the findings, I, like I said, try not to be promises because notoriously I do that and then I screw up. So I'm going to try to get the findings, hopefully before I go to my mom's and my sister's. If not, it'll be, it'll either be before or after. I'm not sure which. I'm not going to give you a firm date because I don't know. When I get everything that I want to put on there, I will ha I will try to show you as I do it. We will try to goth that thing up. It already looks pretty good. It's black quilted. And it's got a hot pink inside. So we're already partway there. So I'm going to try and show you guys the kind of things I do in my Neko's DIY channel. I was trying to do a lot. You know, Last year I did some DIYs. I have done some this year as well. But they don't seem to be very well received unless it's like the one I showed you with the stickers. That's pretty popular, which is, I, I like those myself, so I did more of those. Um, so I will try to do more of those as well. Like I said, I've got a couple more ragdolls I'm going to do. I may or may not do them on camera. Probably not, because I have a hard time seeing to thread the needle to sew the eyes on. And to me, it's personally embarrassing to myself, because I really, I should get bifocals. I had them like 20 years ago, but it was the wrong time, and they just didn't work for me. And I'm not quite there yet because standard reading glasses are too strong for me. So bifocals are probably too much. So, it's, so I just try really hard to, you know, five times, sometimes to thread a needle. So anyway, long story short, I won't show you those unless I sew the eyes on first. So that might be a thing. I might sew the eyes on the doll first and then try to do everything else 
on camera will see. But yes, I still, somewhere further down there, I am going to do the baby doll for Donna Blue and also another, uh, do a witchy doll, another one, more of a Kiki's delivery service kind of doll to go with Hemlock and Belladonna. But since the, the bow is black, I like the dress. I'm thinking about doing reverse and making her hair the color of Kiki's bow. Because otherwise it'd be a black bow and black hair and a black dress, which looked good on Belladonna and Hemlock, but I'm not sure I want to go that direction with this next one. We will see. If I can figure out how to do a poll, if I, if I can figure out how to do a poll, I will put one up and I will ask you guys, should I make her hair black or red? And we'll see if, you, if I get any responses. This is getting long. I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Uh, after three tries, my Hamperer IPA, no, HPA actually. It's a new thing but New Belgium did called the Hemp Pale Ale. So there's APAs, IPAs, and now they started an HPA. I finally got that one uploaded today. It took three tries. The first time, Google was trying to get make me do the multilingual keyboard, which I didn't want, but it loaded it anyway. And that killed all my uploads. That's what happened with my uploads to Instagram, Facebook, and here. Because Google took over my phone and screwed me up. The second time, it didn't upload because... Again, Google was updating all my apps. So this is so it finally uploaded. I hope you enjoy it. Please comment. Let me know what you think. So I was going to upload this one today, but since I didn't get yesterday's uploaded until until today, this one will be another day or two. Like I said, I'm going to spam the heck out of you guys and uh, give you stuff to watch so that during the dead space, dead space. While I'm at my mom and sister's, it's going to be 10 days of nothing. So I'm trying to cram 10 days, like a month. It's like almost like a month's worth of videos in a week or two. So you gonna you might get sick of seeing me. I hope you don't get sick of seeing me. I'm hovering around 27 subscribers again. It goes 28, 27, 28, 27. I still want to give you all that purse. And we're still, now we're back to being three away from that. So... If you guys want that purse, I'm I'm dead serious. I will mail it to whoever wants it. As soon as you're number 30, please let me know. PM me at, on my Facebook, which is Julie Foster. And since there's a boatload of Julie Fosters, put Julie Foster Walmart, and it should I should pop up. And then send me a message to um mess instant, instant messenger the Facebook messenger, and tell me that you're 30 subscriber 30 name and address and I will write it down so I can mail you the purse and then promptly delete the message so no one else can see information. So that's it for now. Keep it dark. Keep it weird. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. And stay cool.